welcome to another episode of NFHS Now. I'm your host, John Gillis. We're going to start today's show with two girls volleyball teams that enjoyed state title success last autumn. At that time, Morgan High School won its fourth consecutive Utah High School Activities Association state title. The team completed the postseason without losing a game, equaling a feat it accomplished a season ago. Meanwhile, the Herman Lady Bearcats won their state best 13th Missouri State High School Activities Association title when they topped Arcadia in straight sets. In the process, Coach Linda Lampkin won her fourth state title. The old saying is everything's bigger in Texas. That definitely applied in the Texas UIL Class 6A Division II football state title game between Longview and Beaumont Westbrook. The contest played in Dallas Cowboys AT&T Stadium had an announced attendance of 48,421, the fourth largest crowd in state history. We'll be right back with social media with Aaron Breyer. Stay tuned. My reason why would be identity, because I have a certain identity when I hit that mat. Like, I'm a school girl, I'm quiet in the classroom, but when I hit the mat with my teammates, that's a whole another side of me. Like I'm able to express how I love this sport and it makes me a better person. And I know it, it's the same thing for all the other girls. The NFHS Learning Center is the leader in online education for the interscholastic community. At NFHSLearn.com, you can find over 60 courses for coaches, administrators, officials, parents, students, and performing arts programs, including over 25 free courses such as concussion in sports, heat illness prevention, sudden cardiac arrest, and protecting students from abuse. For more information, visit the NFHS Learning Center. I'm Erin Breyer, Coordinator of Publications, Communications, and Sports at the NFHS. Welcome to the third installment of our social media series where we hope to uncover best practices, tips, and tricks that states are using to help with their social media following and engagement. For this episode, we wanted to share how states get and create content to share with their social media followings. We asked about their favorite tools, websites, apps, and methods for creating and curating content. One of the individuals who provided their thoughts was Rachel Moo of the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association. Rachel told us that the MIAA mostly uses Instagram and Snapchat for creating content. With Instagram, Rachel likes to create stories and utilizes the stickers that are provided within the Instagram stories. Her main goal is to make it fun, so she uses GIFs, takes polls, and uses the Ask Me a Question sticker. For Snapchat, the MIAA provides geo filters at certain events, co-brands the filter with My Reason Why, and challenges the fans and students to create and share their own My Reason Why videos. Another tool Rachel utilizes is a collage making app called Photogrid. She uses the app for optimizing the allowed 10 photos per post on Instagram. While she says she uses Photogrid sparingly in Instagram, she knows that sometimes kids just wanna see as much as possible in one post so she'll use it to create a collage or a film strip post. Photogrid has several templates for photos within the app. We also heard from Andy Knapp, who is the Director of Marketing, Promotions, and Corporate Partners of the Washington Interscholastic Activities Association. Andy says that the way the WIAA has found its favorite sites, tools, and resources for creating content is by keeping an eye on what industry leaders are doing with their content. For the WIAA, that means not only fellow state associations, but collegiate, minor league, and professional sports organizations as well. They look for unique concepts, trends, and messaging to repurpose into their own content. Andy also follows a Slack channel called Designing Sports, which he says is a valuable resource for content ideas and has a great community for discussion and feedback. With regards to curating content, one unique way the WIAA does that is by working with members of their student leadership committee called LEAP. For example, they post from the LEAP student blog, which each member is required to write one blog entry per school year, the LEAP Instagram account, 
where they regular repurpose content onto the main WIAA accounts, My Reason Why spinoffs, and an Athlete of the Week program where they recognize 12 student athletes per week. All of these have been great ways for the WIAA to generate content. Tim Street, Senior Director of Communications for the Ohio High School Athletic Association, also shared some insight with us. He told us that while the OHSAA utilizes Hootsuite to schedule their posts, the communications team, consisting of Tim and five interns, come up with what content to post. For curating and finding content that is already out there, they do this in two main ways. First, they have a list of about 40 partner social media accounts that the communications team divides up and tracks daily to pull content to reuse. And second, while they make a point to keep an eye on other social media posts, they also welcome ideas from other sources such as staff, media, and the public. With so many great ideas in this segment, we hope that these tips and tricks have been helpful and inspiring to you as you continue to post and share on social media in your state. Remember, if you'd like to submit your thoughts, ideas, or questions about social media, feel free to send them to the email address below. We'd love to hear from you and highlight your tips on the NFHS Now program. That's all for today on social media. We'll be right back with more NFHS Now after this important message. This stage is nowhere near Broadway, and none of these actors will be accepting an Oscar anytime soon. Still, they are rehearsing for something important. While they learn their lines, they're also learning teamwork, discipline, self-confidence, that everyone has a part to play. Skills that will make them stars long after the curtain falls. The National Federation of State High School Associations reminds you that when kids take part in high school activities, they get set for life. If you're wearing a sports uniform, you always have a small child coming up to you saying, oh, what do you do? That's awesome. So it's kind of cool if I could be in the grocery store and I'll have a little girl come up to me like, do you remember me? I was at cheer camp last week. And I'm like, yeah, I do. And like, I'll ask them how they're doing. So like knowing you have that support just lifts you up. Welcome back to the program. Two states on opposite ends of the nation recently entered into corporate partnerships. On the East Coast, the South Carolina High School League has partnered with Palmetto Pride, the state's anti-litter organization. According to SCHSL Commissioner and former NFHS President Jerome Singleton, Palmetto Pride is a valued necessity and a fundamental part of being a productive South Carolina citizen. It has always been an education-based organization focused on the betterment of our state and that is why we enjoy a strong partnership with them. Meanwhile, on the West Coast, the California Interscholastic Federation and Verde Design signed a three-year agreement that names Verde Design as the official exterior athletic facility design and engineering firm of the CIF. According to CIF Executive Director Roger Blake, the CIF is excited to partner with Verde Design and welcomes them to the CIF family. They promise to be a valuable resource to our member schools and districts as they continue to upgrade their existing athletics infrastructure and invest in new facilities. We'll be right back after this important message. I am a high school student athlete, which means I'm still learning some of life's most important lessons. I am learning how to persevere through difficult and challenging times. And about determination and playing for my teammates. I'm learning to respect my opponent through participating in activities at my school. Mom, dad, coach. With time, I won't remember the wins and losses. But I will remember what I learned about how you acted towards my teammates, opponents, officials, and other fans. What lessons do you want me to learn? Sportsmanship is everyone's responsibility. Do the right thing. This message was brought to you by the Oklahoma Secondary School Activities Association. That wraps up our show for this week. If you have any story ideas, please let me know and we'll get them on the program. Be sure to tune in next week and until then, take care. Thank you.